Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Hi, dear Leo. Go ahead and take a beautiful deep breath in. Ready? Deep, deep, deep. Raising your vibration, kissing your higher self, and release. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Leo, this is such a powerful month for you to transform how you do your career life and how to network. Thank you so much to make it work for you. I feel like your communication is on point even with Mercury retrograding. And when Mercury retrogrades, our communication is kind of off and we have to just be a little bit more careful. But I feel like for you... This is definitely a time for you to realign with your purpose. Not necessarily your passion because I feel like your passion is something that's embedded within you and you're going to um, follow that. I feel like out of the star signs, um, you are definitely one that is going to go in to do something that you really do find pleasure in. And... This is a beautiful month. Look at you. Get Be open to receiving the wealth, that abundance, um, that, that phone call, that email, that text, that opportunity so that you can get up and go. 
I feel like you start off October with the understanding that you don't have to stay where you're at. I feel like you are open to exploring overseas, another location that's away from um, the city that you're in, the state that you're in even. You might be loop moving cross state, cross country, but certainly be open to um, definitely cross country, overseas, wherever that may be for you. But also be on the lookout for people that are unlike you, okay? People that are in a different, not only a different mindset, but in a different culture. I feel like that's really going to work for you. Be open to receiving the wealth of abundance that Spirit has for you. I mean, literally... You're walking this path with the sun on your back. You are the sun's baby. And Spirit is just saying, lift your head up a little bit so that you can see the blessing that the universe is sending you. Because through the natural law and order of the universe of giving and receiving, of cause and effect, not just law of attraction, honey, you're on a trajectory of blessings and this is a brand new path that is just for you be open to receiving the blessings to really make your dreams come true I mean stay grounded in what you do for a living you know this is legacy driven open up to that legacy income the generational wealth of happiness if you're not if you don't feel like you're in the career that you feel like you should be in. But I feel like your passion is very um, and just embedded in who you are. So when you're around those naysayers, family, your spouse, your partner, kids, your parents, anybody that you know you really have a profound respect for that is uh, energy draining, you're going to have to cut them off. Plain and simple. You've got many choices, many options, but Leo... You care so much about them, but you've got to walk through that one door, and here is the catch. You're not going to be taking them with you. This is the month where I really feel strongly that you're cutting some ties with some folks that are not good for your business. They're not good for your success. They're not good for your finances, okay? So any energy drainers... Those vampires that's been borrowing money, you're not getting too much of, out of the relationship. I feel like it's just not healthy, and you know that already. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mid-month, after your philosophy starts to change from the beginning of the month, this is a time where Spirit is telling you, start making those new connections. Go out in your neighborhood. Go and uh, really see... Who you're connected with so that you can see who they're connected with. All right. So, for example, you, you frequent a boutique. It might be um, a store. I'm seeing an Amish store. And you go in that Amish store and then you start realizing that they're connected with people overseas. And you want to be connected with those people because they are the people that have the business opportunity that you're waiting for. Also... This is an opportunity for you to start doing some things online for a living. You might be promoting your book. You might be in um, just an online business opportunity. Please know that Spirit is showing you right now you have many options. Do not go. I feel like this. Oh, goodness. Do not go with anything that makes you do a ton of work, put in a ton of money, that's not something you're already invested in, self. All right, if it's something that pulls you away from where your values are, it's not, this isn't the, the road that Spirit has you going in. It has to be something that is absolutely effortless, which means that, it's not going to pull you away from what you believe in already. Okay, it's a new beginning. 
You're being nudged to go forward by spirit for sure. But remember your power. You have the power to decide, okay? You have this energy within you to go in this new path, to go in this new direction. And that wake up call in the middle of the night, in the middle of the day, that pulls you away from whatever you're experiencing at that moment, that anomaly, okay? That's divine source. That's what you want to look at. And if you're feeling like I'm in this tidal wave, I'm in the eye of the storm, ground yourself because that energy is here. Now, how are you going to ground yourself? You don't go with the ebb and flow of life. You're just going to go with the ebb and flow. You're going to be out in nature. You're going to be doing things that you like to do. And you're going to realize that it's effortless. And then that, at that moment, you're going to realize that the wake-up call is calling you to the specific choice that holds your blessing. And it's just hand deliver it to you. It feels right. It's something you're already about, you know, and it absolutely is taking care of yourself. It's taking care of your family. It's doing the things you love, helping people, being there for people, but not being taken for granted or taken advantage of. I feel like, dear Leo, before I even go here, I feel like I'm seeing some people, I see someone working on a car, and it's a woman. It's, first, it's a mechanic, and it looks like a stereotypical um, dirty hands, you know, fingernails dirty, just working on stuff, oil, oil on his skin, and it's a white man's hands, very thick fingers, just, just hands, just working on the car, underneath the car, and I can see him up underneath the car, wrench. And uh, this is a like like a powered uh, screwdriver in this hand, working on the car. And then I see a woman walk in with a red dress, red shoes. He rolls back under the from under the car. And the car is a classic, by the way. And I'm hearing Model T. And she's coming in with a Porsche. And it's a classic Porsche, but she's got all technology on. She's got like an iPhone watch. She's holding on to another phone. Um, she's got a laptop, like a little notebook in the car that I'm looking at. Attire is very modern, very now. Now all of a sudden I see her under the car, tools in hand, working under the car working yeah working under the car and he drives off in her car that message dear leo says to me don't be afraid to do something different but it feels right and you're not worried about what other people have to say there's a freedom of expression and there's a, an ability for you to come into october with out judgment for choosing a different path and changing your philosophy. I feel like at the end of the month, on that blue full moon, there is an awareness of that, that you can change your career path and it still feel right. But the time is now to decide and you need to make that choice. It has to be based on your heart's true desires, not on what other people have to say. And you're going to know that you're on the right path. And you won't have to doubt it. You won't have to guess it. But just keep going and keep doing what you're doing because it's working for you. No matter how weird it looks to anybody else, it's working for you. Don't you love when spirit does that? I do. Trust. And where spirit is sending you doesn't have to sound right for everybody else. Trust you, okay? Trust you. 
And trust where spirit is sending you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like, dear Leo, uh, you know, I feel like some of you are finishing school. Some of you are thinking about how you're going to go forward in your career path. What is it exactly that you need to be doing? And I just see right now, I see a baker and I see a, a officer, a police officer. Um, and, and it's interchangeable. Don't be sold on just one path. Be in tune with your spiritual gifts and the passion you have towards certain aspects of life. That is your new beginning. And it is a blessing in disguise because you're able to do things effortlessly because you're ebbing, you're just flowing with the universe and you're able to go into this path that works for you. It grounds you. It keeps you tranquil and centered. And yes, you've got many choices. Oh, somebody stop smoking marijuana. Just stop because what, what you're using it for is not medicinal. You're using it to escape. And Spirit is telling you, I told you, stop escaping the path that I have you on. It's a new beginning and you're so afraid of it. But honey, you're blocking your own blessings. Find that balance and you're going to be okay. The mysteries of life. This is our spiritual sight, our sixth eye, our, our, our brow chakra. And this is where we really find our um, back, to, the pathway back to our dignity, um, the knowledge and wisdom and spirituality that we have, the mysteries of life. But also, we can connect with our inner child through our sixth sense. Okay, guidance is here. So listen to what spirit has to tell you. And this is honoring the secrets between you and source and the secrets that you've lived with all of your life. Do you release them? Do you let them go? Do you allow them to hold you back? But see the unseen so that you can find that balance that spirit is really has right there behind the right door. Okay. Dear Leo, this is emaciated periwinkle. I must create before the opportunity disappears. The legend here is periwinkle is a small town theater actor with big time talent. An agent arrives in town and is quite impressed with young periwinkle. She offers him a contract. And he drops everything that once mattered to him to be available for fame. Feeling sure that his quote-unquote big break is coming, he alienates his loved ones. He signs a contract with the agency, but there are no jobs. He is told he must wait for the right one. He learns that waiting for a dream is not as powerful as living a lovely reality. Your inspiration for meditation here is running towards something may chase it away. Be wary of being deceived by your own desires. Personal inquiry to meditate on. I take me with me wherever I go. Is there a part of my life that may be out of alignment with who I am? Key ideas, chasing illusions. Health matters, compulsive behavior, and, and as I, as before I said compulsive behavior, what I saw was eating, just just gorging, gorging, gorging. Dietary imbalance, being result oriented, self neglect, honoring values. 
Keywords to meditate on are assistance, courtesy, and support. All right. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, Heavenly Angels. So, dear Leo, you have a blessed opportunity to own your power in this new beginning, to know that you're going to have to let go of some folks, but there's someone right there with you, which is yourself. You're going to embrace your shadow self and go into this new direction that is an effortless decision because it is something that is within you. Remember what Spirit said in the beginning, the passion is there with you. You just have to make that choice to go in that path and uh, avoid the reluctant energy that is really trying to overpower you. Remember, burn your incense, spray your, your sage oil, um, spray, um, use your oils, your essential oils. Um, I only use one brand if, if you, you know, if, if you're concerned about the purities of it, I get it. So make sure that you are um, using the best that's out there, the most pure, and ground yourself, you know. Um, I sit there and I smell my essential oils. Let me just show you what I do. So let's say I, you know, might take, this is frankincense, and I might literally just sit there and inhale it. You know, and I, I just sit here and do that, and um, you will definitely get positive results from it. You will see clearer with your spiritual sight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. And so, dear Leo, make the connections. Mid-month, get out in your neighborhood. Talk to people. Call people. Uh, people you're connected with on social media that you know physically, that you know in real life are connected with people that you don't know and that are in parts of the world that you need to know, okay, that you want to know, you have a desire to know, but you just don't know them yet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And so, honey, you are so blessed, Leo. I mean, at the end of the day, you come to this fullness of wealth, abundance, prosperity, and your soul's desires and your career. And honey, this is happiness at home. This is a good opportunity working from home. It is absolutely incredible. It is absolutely incredible. I mean, it's a great idea. You have to just balance out your energy, get out of your own mind, know that you are in control. Wow, goodness gracious, I'm so happy for you. Oh, goodness, your energy is in here. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much, Heavenly Angel. Thank you so much. Oh, goodness, look at you, okay? I'll keep that right there so you can see. Leo, this is a month in your career life that you've tapped into an opportunity, uh, a position, a company um, that is all forward. This is a great industry. Um, you definitely are tapping into network marketing. Many of you are. Don't be afraid of it. Because your communication is right on point. Um, I'm also hearing seals. So look out for seals, wherever that may be. It might be the fact that it's um, the ice cold. It might be um, the, the culture around seals, wherever they're located in the world. It might be um, on a logo. It might be the name of a company. Uh, it might have something with saving the seals, but I'm certainly hearing seals and I'm seeing them um, 
on the icy slopes and playing in the water. Be nimble like them. Um, be aware of the dangers in the ocean. Okay, be, be aware of what's lurking around you, which is jealousy, really. Don't let them pull you away from your blessings. I feel like this energy here is the beautiful opportunity. Great idea, Leo. And you're ready. I mean, the energy around you is let's go, let's go, let's go. Your ancestors are right there waiting to bless you with it. And you know it's a, it's a gold mine of an opportunity. But you doubt your ability to succeed in it. And you got to do it. I, I really encourage you to do it. Go for it. Um, at the end of the day, the doubting energy is in the past. Um, this is creating legacy income. This is generational wealth. This is seeds being planted for your children, your children's children, uh, leaving such a strong legacy with this career move. And it's something that you truly love. You just, you have the passion already in you, you know that, but it also gives you an opportunity to be there for other people in a way that's giving and receiving. And remember what Spirit said, be open to receiving that blessing. You really own that energy. It's a, it's You're able to feel loved and feel nourished and provided, stable and secure in your home. If you're a woman, if you're a single mom, you don't have to worry uh, once you you accept this opportunity once you um, choose the right path and choose this door um, and go through it and just start doing the work and uh, remember that it's an effortless just step forward and you know and with your fear being you know do I need to pull back do I need to kind of be patient yes you do and there's no need to fear it because there is a timing issue there and we know Mercury is retrograding, and so that communication, the, the delay of getting the email, of getting the confirmation, that's all it is. It's just a delay. It's temporary. But it is divinely ordained and divinely timed to be delayed because, honey, the energy around you is yours, okay, with the sun, meaning you control this. This is your blessing. You control it. So that doubting energy is not yours to own, all right? All right, so yes, it is going to be substantial. It is going to be hefty. And you're hoping that, you know, all this hard work is going to pay off. It is going to pay off, but you've got to do the work. It's going to pay off, and you're going to own it. And once you step in that path, you do own your confidence. You do just things just open up for you and you're able to really create what you want to you're really able to write that book the way you want to you're really able to publish it market it without any fussing and uh, heavy charges and you know and, and just be able to really be in the spaces that you really want to be in mingling with the people you want to mingle with and just helping the people that you know spirit is sending you to it's time for you to receive so when you feel that delay don't get it twisted it's temporary all right it is very much temporary but it's divinely ordained because you need certain help and spirit knows it, but you may not know it. And uh, you may think you need help from somebody, and it may not be that person. It may be somebody else. You may need help a certain way where you think that you need it a different way. So accept that delay. Life is speeding up, and you're being reminded of the quickening of your personal evolution as a powerful co-creator. You're being told, Leo, unequivocally that it's time to get moving. Set your intentions and take action towards making your dreams real, okay? I mean, you. I know you already feel how fast the world is changing, but now is the time to let go and just enjoy the exhilarating ride 
as intentions you have set in motion in the past are now coming into form with lightning speed and so as spirit's telling you your fear is you've got to you've got to pull back you've got to kind of deal with this delay yes but work on you in that time get your rest just like the the kings and queens and the lion and lionesses kingdom the animal kingdom do don't lions sleep the majority of their day you need to do that when you feel frustrated by the delays. Take a breather. Meditate. Honor the silence and listen to what spirit is telling you instead of trying to just speed right ahead and getting confused. Because the blessings are here like crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And here is your affirmation. Thank you so much, Divine Source. We are so grateful. Thank you so much for our dear Leos. Have an attitude of gratitude for the many achievements I have successfully experienced in my life. And you know they are many. Congratulations in advance for the blessings that you are being bestowed and the accomplishments that you are making and the goals that you will achieve because Leo you have blessings on top of blessings the key this month is to know that you are capable you have the resources within get out of your own brain stay away from that negative energy and make the move towards this amazing business opportunity and career change this just this welcoming of the blessings that are right there choose wisely because it's in that one path that feels right it smells right it tastes right it looks right it you hear it right it sounds right it's everything right but it's a little scary it's not one of those too good to be true. It's one of those, oh my gosh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is my dream coming true and I can do this, but can I? Yes, I can do this. It's brilliant. I've been working on it. I know it. I've researched it before. I can do this. But then the naysayers, it's that kind of path and you've got this. And then life, boom, just picks straight up because you've got your help right there. And you ask for help with the power of two. And honey, you're going to receive your spiritual guidance like this. So come in and take you to your blessings that you truly, truly, truly deserve. Wow. Well, dear Leo, if there's anything that I can do for you, you know, we have a scholarship coaching program. You just let me know by clicking the links down below. I look forward to speaking with you. And if you are open to a reading, we have new pricing. And uh, we just want you to be blessed. And we thank you for your support and, uh, and your, your, your servitude to others. Mwah. Love you. And I'll speak with you.